is bucket paper for number three. And we're doing math today. Write your name on the line. And then let's go ahead and look at number one. I see a hunk and chunk A-L-L that says all. So t, all. And then I'm going to sound out my suffix. Est, t, all, est, tallest. I'm going to look at my four kids. K, Johnny, Sam, and Greg. I'm going to look and see which one is the tallest. And I'm going to circle that one. All right, let's look at number two, skip counting. Looks like we're counting by one. So we're starting at three, four, five, fill in the missing numbers, eight, missing number, 10, missing number, and 12. Make sure your numbers are facing the right way and they're neat and nice, not sloppy. Number three, money. I can see both of these are Abraham Lincoln's. So that tells me that those are pennies. Penny, penny, easily spent copper, brown, and worth one cent. So if I count both of those together, tell me how many cents I would have. Now if you notice, my cent sign is missing. So along with your number of cents, you do need to draw a cent sign as well. Number four, time. Now remember I have an analog clock and a digital clock. They both tell me the same time. If I look at my digital clock, the hour is before the dots. If I look at my analog clock, my hour is pointing with the short hand. Both of those numbers match. So what hour is this on? Hmm. Write that on the line. Number five, geometry. Look at those four shapes and tell me which one does not belong. Again, you can turn the paper to see if they are just turned. But another trick you can do is count the sides or count the corners and see which one does not match. Number six, measurement. Tell me how many centimeters long that worm is. When you found it, write it over here with centimeters. Again, if you need to pause this video as you're doing your work, you can do so. Number seven, addition stories and facts. I have this boy's tray plus this girl's tray. You're gonna count cookies today. So the first number needs to show me how many cookies are on his tray. The second number needs to show me how many cookies are on her tray. Then you need to add how many cookies they both have together. This number plus this number equals. And again, finish the sentence. There are blank cookies in all. Number eight, before and after. I have the number four. Tell me what number comes before the number four and after the number four. Subtraction stories. Now, let's see how many frogs we started with. It doesn't matter if they have an X or if they don't have an X. Count how many frogs all together. Put that answer first. Then your second number will be how many frogs are crossed off. Put that number here. Then you're going to subtract this number, this number, how many frogs are left, or how many frogs do not have an X. Then also answer the sentence, there is blank frog left. Number 10, color 10. Take your crayon and you may color 10 of those circles. Double check that your name is at the top and then turn it in to your teacher.